Hey, this is JD with Fix Fabrication. Um, I'm making this little video today because I've had some questions on some of my custom mailboxes that I make and uh, how they go together. Um, pretty simple, but there's a few nuts and washers and kind of getting them the right spacing of where they go. So um, this is my Lyman mailbox. I make many other different types, but the flags are pretty much all the same on them. Um, so when you get it, it'll be in a box. You unpack it, it looks just like this kind of when you get it. Open it up on the inside and uh, of course, everything will be packed in, you know, paper and, and uh, bubble wrap and stuff to keep it all together. Um, but for this purpose, I just kind of set them in here. So, um, so you pull out the flag. So this is the flag, and you'll see it's got quite a few nuts, washers, bolts. Um, that's where uh, people were kind of um, getting a lot of calls, like, how does that go together? Uh, so, the whole, so that's kind of the whole purpose of this video. Um, the top piece uh, is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, so, but we'll go ahead and go through that also. So anyways, when you get your mailbox, um, you know, set it on the counter or workbench somewhere. Um, all the nuts and bolts take a flathead screwdriver and a 3 8 um, wrench to, to uh, hold it. So um, when you get them, I tighten them enough so where they won't rattle off in shipping. But, uh, you know, just take your, uh, your nuts and washers off three positions here. And it is a little easier, I found, if you do put this on first and then the flag. Um, not a big deal, doesn't matter a whole lot, but uh, you don't have to reach in across so many nuts and bolts. So anyway, so now that we have them all off, um, lineman on the pole versus no lineman on the back goes on the front. If you have some other custom you know, design, it's pretty obvious which way it'll go. Um, you can turn it the other way if you want to, but there's three holes on top. Just line this up and uh, slide those right in then take uh, your nuts so you've got a flat a lock and a nut so your um, flat goes first obviously then your lock and then the nut so if you just reach in here and uh, put them on of course normally you can look in there you don't have a camera in your way where you can see what you're doing so i'm kind of doing it by feel here but uh, just put go through and put all three of these on That one, the back one's the hardest. So if you got short arms like I do, it's a little bit of a reach. Okay, once you get those on, take your flat-headed screwdriver and three-inch wrench. I use a ratchet; it makes it a little easier. But uh, being kind of anal, if you will, uh, I like to turn all the screws one direction so they all match. But that's up to you, of course. And I just hold it with the Phillips and screw it from the inside. Uh, two reasons I do that instead of tightening it with the screwdrivers, because when you're standing here and you're tightening it, it's easy to slip, and then you get a big old scratch in your mailbox. Kind of sucks. So, so I just use the uh, screwdriver just to kind of hold the screw in place. Here. Okay, there we go. So now the top is on, secured. So next step, we'll move to the flag. And this is where um, some folks were having just some questions. Not you know not a big deal, just but if you look on here, there's you know it seems like there's extra washers, lock nuts. Um, this is just a system that I found works best because then nothing comes loose once you get it set to where you want it to be. Um, so anyway, so take off the, the two nuts. So when you pull it apart, you'll have a couple, two nuts, two lock washers, that one's up there, and then these two flat washers. So, so basically, let's say everything kind of fell apart. Take your flat-headed screw with the washer and on the side flag, obviously facing back, take that screw and put it in there with the washer. Then, and this is kind of where the tricky part is, it's a little tight, so you put this washer on. When you go to put it on here, this round piece 
fits behind this screw. So if you try to put it on like that, it doesn't want to go past that screw. So what you want to do is pull this screw out a little bit. And then also you'll see there's two ta little tabs right here. So you want one on this side of the screw and one on this side. So when you come down in here, just kind of turn it at an angle. And then with the screw short, you can shove it right in. So now it's in there. And so see how it kind of, so it hits right there. So, so it's on the inside of that screw. So now you have a flat washer on this side and on the back side. That flat washer just kind of keeps the metal, this main piece a little bit away from this piece so it's not dragging and scratching everything up. So then on the inside, what you want to do is now you've got your bolt sticking out. You want a flat washer, a little lock washer, and a nut. Screw that on. Now, you can let, let, let this lean back in position, um, but what you want to do now is take, before you put the rest of your hardware on, is just like before, take this and put it on and tighten up that, let's let that down. Okay. tighten up your uh, bolt here. And so you just kind of, by feel, and now is your opportunity to adjust to whatever tension you want. So if you want it, you know, kind of loose, easy to pull up, it's fine. Or if you want to put a little more on it, so it takes, you know, a little bit more effort, that's, that's up to you. Don't over tighten it. You can break those real easy. And if you do break them, just real quick, you know, another washer, um, I'll gladly send you some for free. If you want, you know, email me and uh, let me know how you need them. Or you can go down to the hardware store. And all those are, they're uh, number 10, 24 um, by... Uh, half, actually, they're number 10, 24 um, by 3 quarter inch. These are for the top. That one's a little longer. So it's a 10 by 24 by 3 quarter inch for this one. The rest of them are, um, the rest of the bolts are 10 by 24 by half inch. Uh, just so that way you don't have to cut them off. They're not too long. The mailman's not going to drag their arm on it and cut themselves. So, okay, so anyway, so now I've got that where I like it stiff. I like, I like it where it'll hold itself in any position just so it's nice and kind of snug. So now what you want to do is you want to take the other lock washer and put it on and then the last nut and basically what you're doing is you're just put you're building a like a lock nut uh, where it won't come off. I found with lock nuts on this going back and forth they didn't work as well as an actual lock washer uh, so that's why I changed to doing it this way instead of a lock nut. So when I'm tightening it now also, so I'm, I'm only on this nut, and I, and I do have my screwdriver on because it will turn on you a little bit. Anyways, I just tighten it down to where, right there, the other nut starts to turn. Your lock washer's tight. Prestola, you're done. And there you go. It goes on down. Like I said, it'll stay in any position. And now you have a complete mailbox. Mount it to your post. So thanks for watching. JD with PixFab. Email me if you have any questions. Um, or give me a call. I'll put all that info in the, the uh, deal when we edit it here. And uh, thank you very much.